In today's video, let's take a closer look at setting up continuous delivery for a React app with Buddy. For our React app, we are going to use Docuzarus 2, a static site generator that builds modern and functional documentation portals as single-page React apps. We will create a pipeline in Buddy that automatically builds a documentation portal, spellchecks its content, sends appropriate notifications, and deploys the portal to Firebase upon approval. Before we get to work, let's recap the three important concepts connected to development automation. Continuous integration is an approach where developers merge their changes to the main branch as often as they can and have them validated by a suite of automated tests. Continuous delivery takes the CI concept a step further and automatically builds the tested code and releases it to selected environments where you can deploy it with a click of a button. This is the approach we are looking at in this video. With continuous deployment, everything, including the deployment to selected environments, is completely automatic. One last thing before we start. Let's have a quick look at the things you will need to follow this guide. Okay, without further ado, let's do this. First, let's quickly create our documentation portal with Docuzaurus. Open a terminal window and navigate to a directory of your choice. Then, Run this command to create the scaffolding of your documentation portal. Actually, at this point, it is a fully functional yet basic documentation portal. You can check it out locally by running npm run start, which starts serving the app on localhost. Now it's up to you to write some great docs. While we are still looking at Docuzarus, let's add a test. There's this node markdown spell check that won't be testing the app itself, but instead, it will check the content you write to make sure that no spelling mistakes end up in your documentation. Open the package.json file and add this line to the scripts array. The next step is connecting the directory to Firebase and setting it up for hosting. Run this command to install Firebase CLI. And then this command to sign in to your account. Then run this command to connect the directory to your Firebase project. This triggers a series of choices you need to make to create a proper configuration. Finally, run this command to get a token that we will later use in Buddy. Save it somewhere for later. One last thing to do is initializing our directory as a Git repo in GitHub. Make sure to push all changes to your main branch. Now that everything is prepared, let's set up the pipeline in Buddy. Create a new project, choose GitHub as your Git hosting provider and select the repository of the documentation portal. Add a new pipeline, choose its name and select the on push trigger mode to make the pipeline run every time it detects changes to the main branch. Now it's time to add the actions. First, add a node.js action and feed it these commands in the order you see on the screen. Following the order ensures that the portal won't be built if there are any spelling mistakes in the docs. Then add a send email notification action. We will use this to inform the selected users that the build was successful and that they need to have a look at the pipeline. Why would they have a look? Well, because the next action we will add is wait for approval. This one stops the execution of next actions until there's approval of a specific user or a group of users. When the pipeline gets a green light, it moves to the Firebase action. There, in the config, enter this command. This is where you will need the CI token you generated a couple of minutes ago. For the final action, let's add another send email notification action. This one is sent after the Firebase action runs successfully and is a great place to share the link to the freshly deployed documentation portal. Now, let's test the pipeline. I'm going to make a very apparent change to the content of the portal and push it to the main branch. You can see that the pipeline is triggered. I get a notification email on the specified email address, approve, and then get another email that lets me know that the portal is ready. As you can see, my changes are definitely there. We hope you enjoyed this quick look at setting up continuous delivery for a React app with Buddy. Thanks for watching.